So I want to quickly teach what I call the five customer love language. Five customer love language. If you like, go and turn my teaching to ebook. It will not sell until you bring royalty. So this is my own brain work. And this is what I figured out. Now, how many of us know the five love languages? Please type five, if you know the five love languages. All right, the five love languages, uh, by research, I mean, years of research, how people receive and give love, all right? When you say, I love you, or when I say, I love you. Okay, when you say you love me or when I say I love you, yeah. What does it mean, really? All right? How do I decode that word, I love you? How do I get to understand it? What does it mean to me? So they figured out that there are five unique ways that individuals measure, interpret, receive, and give love. And it is so interesting that somebody can love you in their heart. They genuinely mean it, all right? But the way they are trying to communicate the love to you is not the same love language you understand, all right? Because someone could look like you, but may not speak your language. And if you appear in front of that person and you start to speak your own language, which is not understood or understandable by the person you're talking to, he's going to think maybe you're trying to hurt him or maybe you're trying to do something bad to him or maybe you're just a bad person. We not understand the things you're trying to say and God help you. If some of the words you use doesn't mean something else in that person's language, all right, so language is a basic foundation, a basic fundamental of communication. And communication is what is at the base of every action. And our life experience generally is an offshoot of actions that people are taking. Hence, language forms our reality. So if you're talking about romantic love, romantic love is as strong as the language spoken in that particular relationship. A lady feels the man that she loves or that claim to also love her does not call her, does not spend time with her, does not care about her. Whereas there is no other person that this man cares about more than this particular lady. But he is trying to express how he feels about her in a language that the lady does not understand. This same thing as it is seen through research in love also goes pari pursue with customer relationship. All right. So when you're trying to either get a prospect, uh, a one-time buyer, a repeat business, uh, all levels of customer that you may have, they also respond to love languages. Why? Because they are human. All right. So every time you have human being, most things that are apply in other areas of human endeavor or social strata can also be translated to business dealing or business relationship uh, because it is the human being that are also involved. And that is why emotional intelligence is one of the key principles of success in any kind of business you're doing. And when you talk about emotions, supposed to be like a negative thing. You know, people always say this funny, funny phrase. Don't miss business with emotion. How many of you have had it before? Give me one, one, one. If you have had it before, don't miss business with emotion. Uh, it only sounds good, but it's, it's an idiotic statement. It doesn't make sense. Because the very fabric of business itself is based on emotion. What you should rather say is control your emotions in business. I have cracked one meat for you now. People say, don't mean that. No, 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 no. Control your emotions during 
business or in business, all right, which means you decide the type of emotion that is required, all right, at every phase of business dealing, okay? I, I can't have um, maybe a consultant or somebody that's supposed to work on a project for me, just lost, God forbid, the most important set of people to him or her, you know, to death that same day, but my project needed to be delivered. And then I knew about the tragedy that just happened to the person. And the first thing I say when I pick the call, sorry about what happened, but please, how far with our project? Please, what is going to happen? What is going to happen? So the process of empathy, which is an emotion, all right, comes into play. So why not mix emotions with business? Of course, business will not even exist without emotion. Hence, love languages are as critical in business as they are in romantic interactions, all right? Love languages are as critical in business <laughs> as they are in romantic uh, uh, relationship. So before we move it into business, we should first understand what love languages are, what they mean, and the research that was conducted and their power. I was told about a story of a man who just got married barely a few months. And he's so in love with his wife. And one day he felt like, oh, this woman, I'm just going to blow her mind today. And while he was at work, he went into a store and purchased a very expensive piece of jewelry. Very expensive jewelry. All right. And he was so happy that once my wife sees this, oh, she's going to be so happy and the sex is going to be great. So he thought. He got home and then the wife was in the kitchen. And I went to the kitchen and said, honey, you back. Okay, I'm in the kitchen. Come over. No, we went to the kitchen. And then all the wife kissed her. The wife was preparing meals, yeah? So she was busy working. And then... The, the husband was like, ta-da, showed the gift that he bought. And the wife looked and said, oh, nice. Please drop it on the table. Help me pick that water and come and pour it in this thing I'm doing for me. And the man was like, oh, my God. You didn't just say that. I spent so much money. I spent no, 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 no. You told me to drop the gift. You didn't even open it. <laughs> How do you mean? How can you be an English? I said, what are you saying, honey? I said, that me to do. Said for a couple of months, they had issues in their marriage. Issues. Glass booze every now and then. Why? Because she never knew there is such a thing as love language. Some of you have destroyed a very good relationship because you don't understand your own primary love language. Neither do you understand the one of the person you were in love with. And it became a big deal because you're having friction. To the guy, he believes he loves you. To you, you believe you love him, but both of you don't believe you love each other because you are communicating the wrong language. Until this guy knew about love languages, then he understood that his own way of showing love is through gifts. But the wife's way of receiving love is through act of service. Don't give me gifts. Do something for me or with me. If I'm cooking, let me do dishes while I'm cutting the yam. Oh, I'm going to feel so loved. Or I just take trash out before it starts smelling. Oh, I'm going to feel so loved. You know, just clean the TV. Just do something. Just do something. There's a lady I got to, I can't remember I got to know her, but I think it was online, most likely through Instagram. She was six months into marriage. And we got close. We're talking, you know, not what you think anyway. And then one day I was in Lagos, you know, we're in Abuja at the time. And then she was like, oh, you're in Lagos. Please, there's something I'd like you to do for me. Could you help me go to my secondary school and collect my WAEC results? I needed to complete the registration for ICANN and stuff and all that. I said, are you serious? Really? Secondary school. You think that's why I lose, ba? And I will now go to secondary school and start looking for your name after how many years? So I said, send the address. She sent the address. I picked a cab and they took me to the school. Got to the school, went to the principal, 
mentioned her name, they directed me to where to go to. There were some payments in there to make that she didn't even know. I paid for everything, cleared everything. It was inside the rain. All right. And I got that YX certificate. And then I sent it, I scanned it, made it look beautiful, the exact way, put it in PDF, the way it was required for her to upload it and send it to her before she even said Jack Robinson. Oh my God, what did I do? Hey, the next three months was hell because I just communicated love to her in her primary love language. When this lady is cooking, she will say, I should come to her house and eat. You are married. Said it doesn't matter. I should just come. Oh, she's bored. I should come and just in her husband's house. When the husband is not at home. I never went once. I didn't go once. My point is, she forgot she was married. She became so in love because of that singular act of service. Most likely, the husband might not have known that. And the husband might be doing other things. And I don't know. The most important part of this is your relationship is as strong as the understanding of the language both of you speak in that relationship. So the same way your customers and you, the business, the language, all right, of your communication determines how close you guys are. So Gary Chapman popularized this and in his book, uh, the five love languages, they mentioned five major love languages. And I'm going to mention it for those of you who do not know about it. And um, some of you who are married or in a relationship, you need to evaluate, have that conversation with your spouse. What is your primary love languages and what, 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 are, what are the other ones you respond to? They, you need to help them find it. They need to know it because it's going to make your relationship come back. And those of you in business, definitely I'm talking to all of you in business. You need to also understand how to apply this in business, which is what I quickly want to talk about. I'm putting together a full training on this, by the way, for business owners, small, medium, and even large businesses, how they can use the primary love language, or sorry, the five love languages to get their customers loyalty and love flowing, like land flowing with milk and honey over and over. All right. So what are the five love languages? The first one is called the words of affirmation. Words of affirmation. Words of affirmation. There's a simple way I define this. And it's simply, if you love me and you don't say so, it's in your pocket. All right? So no matter how much you love me, you got to tell me. All right? It's also a point of honor. When you make someone feel important through the things you say, some people you have bought them, they are, they, they are just going to lose it for you. All right. They love it. All right. And um, <laughs> let's not go into some deep stuff. Let's just focus on this. So the first one are uh, words of affirmation. Let me just go through the five and then I will explain a bit on how it uh, relates to business. Are you learning something good tonight? Are you learning something good tonight? Awesome. Beautiful. Beautiful. I used to be a relationship expert, though. Let me just say that. Maybe one of these is I'm going to do a course on relationship. I was a badass. And I didn't stop there. I was also a sex expert. I know so much about sex before I had my first kiss. You won't believe. And some of you did not even know. The, okay, yeah, I'm still a virgin. Let's, let's just keep it as that. <laughs> All of you unbeliever. Ah. I will not see anything. I'm still in your faces. You people do not believe me. You don't believe gospel. Let me just keep it like that. <laughs> so I say, <laughs> let, me, let me not go into that. Let me not go into that. <laughs> so the first one, ladies and gentlemen, are words of affirmation. You don't love me until you tell me. All right? You do not love me until you tell me. That's the first one. The second one, Hmm? is called quality time. Quality time, all right? I miss you. You don't call me. We don't talk. You don't see me. That's what right with me. Ah, but I bought you private guy yesterday. 
No, it's you I want. I just want to see you. Let me look at your eyes. All right, some people <laughs> do not feel loved until you spend, you give them attention. They love attention. A lot of ladies fall into this category, actually. They just love attention. In it's so 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 interesting that some ladies have been able to mask it that most times they come out like they don't want the attention, but really that is the biggest, biggest black hole in their universe. It's 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 what we used to call in Yoruba language, Oguay Nisale. Mm, it's a bottomless pit. It's, it's, it can't be satisfied. They, they want it, they want it. All right. <laughs> so just call me now, give me attention, you know. Would you notice, guys, that some ladies you just call first day, you had like three hours talk, second day, you call again. Um, after third week of talking every day, they start to say, you know, I'm just missing you. Big head. You know the meaning. Many ladies say that to you. I'm just missing you. Big head. It means I'm in love with you, fine man. That's the meaning. Okay, guys, guys, ladies on this call, come on, help me. Is that not it? When I guess that's a big head. If any of you come and say big head to me in the DM, I'll block you. Let me just say that. <laughs> you don't even know how to call someone. <laughs> okay, that is. <laughs> Somebody just said we get private privately. Who is that? Me? Let me remove that. Okay, you won't know. <laughs> oh my goodness! Hold on till I bring this into business. Ah, I wish the spirit allowed me to teach it well tonight, but I will try my best to teach it. But at least just learn it for what it is first. So that's number two. Attention, attention is very important. They want attention. They want you to show up. They want to see you every now and then. They want to show up. All right. The third one is the baba of them all. It's the central because this is the proof of your love that you give. Without giving, there is no love, really. Every You can say anything you want to say without giving. You know, love because love in itself is wrapped up in one singular word called sacrifice and sacrifice is giving without expectation of return all right uh, sacrifice is giving when the receiver is not even worth it you know sacrifice is giving when it is not pleasant completely for you you know when it is painful you know, I have 10,000, I had to draw 9,000 and give to you because you are hungry. I have one key left. I'm not sure I'm going to get what to eat in two days' time myself. It's a risk I'm taking. It's painful for me, but I am sacrificing that 9,000 because, excuse me, I love you. All right? So you can never love without giving. You can give without loving like they say, but you can't love without giving. So giving must go pari passu. Uh, all right, with uh, love, all right? So receiving of gifts is the number three. And some ladies, oh my God, you can say you love them, do everything, but if you have not given something. Now, they are bastardized it a lot these days, but really, those whose primary love language is that a, an ordinary biro, they might have ordinary biro, the fact that you just bought them ordinary biro, oh God, what's done? You have killed them. You were thinking of me. Hmm. Let me tell you one funny story. I have like coded this so that most of you don't understand. Well, let me just say that as my spirit lead me. One day I decided to recruit, or so several years ago, about three, four, five years ago, I can't really remember when. I wanted to recruit some staff to go and work for me. And then I posted an ad on social media. And a lot of people, you know, showed interest. I told them to send me a one minute voice note telling me what they can do and how best they believe they can work with me. And so a lot of people send this voice note. And then, uh, yeah, I told them to send a photo as well. I'd like to see what you look like and hear what you sound like. And so they were sending. And while I was checking it, I saw a particular voice note. When I first saw the DP, the DP looked at me. I looked at the DP. I looked at the DP. The DP looked at me. <laughs> I said, Sam. He said, huh? I said, Sam. He said, huh? Are you sure you want to open this? I said, come on. So I opened. God, some people are just fine. 
When I played this thing, I heard, hello, sir. I said, hey, hey, I, can, I get them. Continue. You have gotten a job. Don't worry. You don't even need to know how to do anything. You are hired. Thank you, Dr. K. So I listened to said, oh, this and this and this and this and this and this. You know what I did immediately? I carried my phone. I dialed the number. Cru, cru, the thing around. He said, ah, you're calling me, sir. I said, yes, I'm calling you. So your interview, let's start. What's the process? You know what she said? She said, I have been following you for about a year. I love everything you do. I don't need a job. I just want to apply so I can be close to you. I say, here? And it offers some jet if you fall out. Oh my God. Go ahead, bring it on, bring it on. What do you mean by that? You know? And he was like, okay, I, I run two businesses. I have a fashion house. And then I also run food logistic business. And I've got a couple of people that work under me as well. And I say, are you serious? Where do you stay? Sir? This Abuja. Abuja? Really? Where? Give me address. I'm coming to that your showroom or whatever you call it now. And I opted my car, zoom, zoom, went to the... When I got there, I was so bamboozled. I was just quiet. Me, that used to form a cantor, but some of you don't know that I'm majorly a choleric. Some of you think I'm sanguine, but I'm not. So I just stayed quiet, just looking. I didn't know what to say. Hey, what did I see? Okay. Very beautiful place, number one. Number two, the level of arrangement of the ah, God, this girl was big. And then I now figured out that she had some people that model for her. She made Agbada. How many of you have seen uh, Mary Men? She made the Agbada for Faus. Faus is a model for her and some other big guys as well that wears her clothes and brand and all that. They are ambassadors. Yeah, how do you call it? Brand ambassador, yeah, yeah, yeah. For this girl, a northerner. Hey. And you want to work with me because you want to be close to me. Ah, okay, that's good. So I now did one thing. Every day I go to see her in her store, I buy her something to eat. Something to eat. It could be sweets. It could be chicken. It could be rice. But there is no day. And I go there virtually every day. Virtually every day. I go there, we talk and gist and gist and gist and gist. And after about a week of repeating this, she just called me. Send me your address. I want to come to your house. Ah, I will give you the remaining gist later. So, receiving of gifts is so interesting that it's not about the gift. It's about the thoughts that you were thinking about them. All right, that's what counts. It's not about, ah, I bought you a car, I bought you uh, a phone, or I bought you um, a pair of glass. Or It could be bio, like I said. I'm just trying to think of something. It could be sweets, chocolate. It could be any funny thing. <laughs> it could be any funny thing you know some of you maybe i'll come and finish that story because some of you have concluded it for me in your own mind 30 mind people all right <laughs> i will not say more than that whatever you think mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so guys when you <laughs> when you learn to give you can penetrate anybody's mind really Sincerely, just learn it. If there is a girl you are interested in, uh, this is just an advice for a lady. <laughs> I just saw my phone now. I'm seeing something like big head. Hey, you have been blocked. All of you that anybody that's I don't want to know who. <laughs> what was I saying? Sorry, back to class. I can't teach this without really laughing because that's an interesting, it, 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 an interesting, it's an interesting thing. So that lady that you're interested in, find a way to every time you appear in front of her, you want to run these love languages by her. Number one, always compliment her, but don't do generic complimenting. 
That's the mistake a lot of people make. Always pay attention to details. Those days when I was still in Zhangu, they, oh my God, I pay attention to details. God, when I start to, I mean, I'll meet a lady and then we'll be just in and I would remind her of her birthday and the day that she was born. And I would remind her of the, the slightest details of the gist she gave me. Maybe she was just and said she wore a red shirt. And I would remind her that you wore a red shirt because you actually love red shirts. Ah, how did you know? Sometimes I forget, like, how are you reading my mind? I mean, how did you know? You told me. If you don't forget things, I say, don't. Don't. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So you want to pay attention to the tiniest detail about her. And when you're going to compliment her, make sure you mention those details, those tiny little things. So sometimes I can look at a lady and say, oh, you look great. But you know what is sweet about you is your perfect nose ring. It fits you the most. This thing is tiny. How did you see the nose ring? Because I pay attention to details. And that breaks something. I mean, it's just I pay attention to you. It's fairly too. I know. So I'm not here to teach you how to date a girl, but I'm just saying when you pay attention to details, and we're going to get into business side of this, <laughs> you can break almost any barrier. It's very important. Okay, so that's number three. Number four is act of service. Act or service, help me to do something. Do something for me or do something with me. Not because I ask you to do it, but because you saw it thoughtful, all right? And then you decided to do it, all right? Sometimes the lady is tired and then you cook for her. And then she's like, ah, you cooked. If you don't know how to cook, buy the food and serve it. There's no difference. Uh -huh. Don't go and cook nonsense. And <laughs> it reminds me of one, one copper girl that was showing talent that she could cook. So every time we go out, you know, they were in a group that was working for me at the time. So she was always talking down on every food. Oh, this we don't even know how to cook. Oh, this one doesn't know how to do. It. Uh, uh. So one day I said, I, I've caught you on the neck now. Market, market, market. So we went to market. We bought everything. So yeah, come and cook. It was just me and her. Ladies and gentlemen, you know that big pot? That was what she used to make semo and the semo filled it. Why? Because while she was making little semo, the thing was having uh, dimples or pimples or whatever. So she was adding more and adding more water. Adding more, adding more. Eventually, she made semo for the US states. And then the dimple and the pimple, they were like, okay, Leo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It was so much. And then as if that was not enough, maybe we could manage the agusi. I mean, you touch the agusi, the water join you here. And then, you know, the agusi were now fighting. They were just separate. I could see the agusi standing aside, the water standing aside. Then the oil here is standing aside. They refused to mix. I was wondering what was going on here. And then I tested it. The first thing I bite was Maggie. The thing did not dissolve. I mean, ah, I mean, I mean, this lady, as fine as you are, you know, if she had kept quiet, nobody will know. But she kept talking. I can cook better than them. What are they cooking? I mean, now cook it. Wahala. <laughs> okay. So if you don't know how to cook, don't show talent. Recognize it, eh? Celebrate it. There are people that have gone to school on your behalf to learn how to cook. Just spend money to hire them or go and buy. And then serve it. All right. It's very important. Ah, so, <laughs> so you can cook for a lady. It makes sense. It just changes everything. That's one thing I used to do uh, back then, and I was in some good day. It's called breakfast in bed in the morning, night, and afternoon. I mean, it's just crazy. And when I do breakfast in bed with for you, I do it with touch of romance. All right. And I'm glad there's nobody to give testimony in the class, so I'm safe. I mean, but then the truth is, <laughs> oh, oh God, let me not get into that. Let me not get into that. But seriously, there is a way you could do something for a lady or for a guy, and then you're just going to capture their mind, help them do something. All right. I love it too, really. Almost everybody really likes out of service. So it's really, really great. You know, just make life easier for them, especially the key word is without them asking you to do it. 
Ah, somebody is, I don't even know who you are. You are, you are testifying. How can you testify? <laughs> All right. All right. So that is number four. Number five. Ah, I love this number five so much. It's called physical touch. Physical touch. <laughs> All right. So to some people, you can... Tell them how beautiful they are. Mm -hmm. You can appear in their face every day, every time. Mm -hmm. You can buy all the gifts for them. Mm -hmm. You can also help them do st stuff. Mm -hmm. But the moment you touch them, physical. Mm -hmm. Physical. Now, I'm going to take physical touch beyond just um, body contact all right although it's about body contact but it's about putting a face all right to your presence in someone's life let me it's about physical interaction all right because some people think physical touch means sex well in a way but it's necessarily not sexual touch. Somebody says a lady, every lady needs 15 meaningful touches every day. I don't know. I've not researched that. <laughs> but there are different parts of a human body that needs touch. And let me prove this scientifically for you. There was a, a, an experiment conducted sometime, I think in the 14th century by a particular emperor. And they got 40 children, newborn. They collected them from the mother across the empire and they put them in a beautiful, very big castle. And then they put all of them in beds and then they hired, um, um, they hired um, nannies, you know, nurses to take care of the kids. The only thing they are supposed to do is to feed them, bathe them, change their clothes. They are not expected to touch them, cuddle them or do any of those things for them. And in 40 days, in less than 40 days actually, all the 40 children had died, all of them. It's a terrible experiment, but it proved the power of touch. You know, when somebody just would you and say, everything will be all right, it eats differently. It eats differently. So to some of us, our primary love language is physical touch. So you can do all these things, you can see all this if you have not touched me. If you have not physically appeared, if you have not interfaced with me physically, then you have not done anything. So let's flip it over for business. There are some people who will not do business with you or who will not, you will not have their loyalty until there's a physical connection. Until so you've had people who have asked you, those of you in LEP, where's your office? I want to come to your office first. Anybody? So there was a guy. I think it was, um, what's his name? Um, uh, what's his name? What's his name? What's his name? Uh, I've forgotten this, this amazing guy's name now. Justin, yes. It was Justin that a guy was saying that he wants to come and see him first. He had to do physical meeting first before he signs up. And then the guy is even in Abuja, but he's willing to come to Lagos to meet with him first before. I was like, Justin ran away. <laughs> so that is that customer's primary primary love language they want to put a physical connection to your brand they want to see your brand and that is why when you are building your brand one of the things you must do are even check out every big brands that are crushing it in their industry they all are physical events i lie they all are physical events. There's customer fest, even banks. They do, there's a physical event. There must be a place, although banks naturally, you interface physically with them most of the time, except recently now that some of us don't go to the banking hall anymore, but there must be a physical event. And that's why we created the 40 Streams Conference, which is a physical place, meet people, touch people, meet, you know, just meet, it, it has its way. All right, until they are able to put a, a <laughs> until they are able to put a physicality to your brand, you are still an idea in their head. You are not yet a brand. You don't have their loyalty. 
they don't feel loved by you. They don't feel safe with you. It is important that they interface with you physically. All right? So you must come out of your shell. As a business person, organize things that create a physical interaction. You have a business page. You don't want to be anonymous. Bring that to your face out. It doesn't matter. Don't worry if you are beautiful or otherwise. If you are wonderfully made or you are fearfully made, it does not matter. You are made anyway. All right? Come out fearfully. Or if you are wonderfully, come out wonderfully. Anyhow, just come out. Let them interface with you. Let them connect with you. To every fearfully made people, there are fearful people who love them. All right? Like uh, this uh, popular saying, bad boys and the God will love them. All right? To so everyone, there is a speck. All right? Everyone is a speck. So no matter who you are, what you think you look like, someone, 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 uh, all right, is dying for your kind. So don't, don't delay their destiny by hiding behind closed doors. Put yourself out, all right? When I'm talking about someone, I'm talking about customers who want to buy from you because you are you. All right. So give that physical connectivity. It's very important. There are dimensions to it. There are frameworks to do that. And that I'm going to be teaching in my course for those of you who get to buy that course. Now, so let's go to number four. Now, all these five love languages I've mentioned to you, words of affirmation, quality time, receiving of gifts, quality act of service, and then physical touch. Either of those five, everyone have a primary that they respond to all right so as a business you want to reach out to your potential customers or existing customers in all of the five because you're not sure which one what customer has as primary all right to some customer they don't care if you are physical and they don't even want to show up physically they would they want to just be behind the scene and just do stuff but there are some mm -mm, they might have big business for you but except you've put a physical stuff to it. It ain't going to happen. If they can't meet you in person, they want to do video call with you. They want to see you. All right? So that is one. But as a brand, you must have an event. All right? And there are a series of new events that we're going to create this year that are going to be coming up. I think uh, one of them is an award stuff that we want to do for people within the organization who have made a certain amount within the organization. And remember, we are building a very large and massive ecosystem. We are not just stopping with physical, uh, with digital courses or eBooks. We are going into softwares, soft products, and then we're going to add products. We're also going into services, all right? We're also going into uh, what they call this, uh, consultancy agencies, all right? So we're going to build one of the largest agency across the West or uh, across Africa, you know, to the rest of the world very soon. It's going to be so, so massive because of the kind of things that we are trying to get into, which means there will be at least a thousand ways to make money as a member of our community. And remember, we will not always add more members. We have a finite number we're looking at and then we want to work with just those number, but we'll keep expanding the capacity of the things that we can do. And that is how we are going to grow. We may buy other companies. Please write it down. We will buy other companies and their members and their database and everything and be giving them crumbs that falls off our table. Hmm? So keep that in mind. So understanding this simply means that we have a long way we are going. All right. And as a brand, we need to start to give physical touch to people, physical connectivity, physical touch, physical touch, physical touch, physical touch. All right. So if they request video call, like Willie just said, why not give it to them? Just schedule it to make sure that you're in a good place. All right. Some of you can just do the call on Zoom. Maybe to your mind or psyche to make it feel more professional. That is not just what a video call. It is now on Zoom. You could do that. All right. So <laughs> whatever you got to do, do it. All right. You could reschedule and say, okay, uh, we can have this call in another two hours. Would that be okay by you? Oh, two hours is bad. Okay. When do you think will be okay? Right now, right now, I cannot do video call because of where I am. I need to settle and get on the computer to be able to do this with you. So if you could give me just an hour, 
or maybe we could reschedule this for any other time between X time and Y time. I'd like to respect your time. Remember the code of honor, all right? Just give all of that. Eventually, they're going to agree, all right, to do the video call with you in that context and all. So, and if the purpose of the video call is also very important, sometimes some people just want to be sure that you are who you claim you are. There are sometimes some people chat me and say, are you really some of that? Prove it. And I will enter my phone, put on video call, and then the moment they pick, I say, hi, my name is Sam Hav. I say, oh, sir, it is you. Oh, my God, it is you. I say, ah, but you are the one that says it's not me. Now. So now you can see that it is me. So can we continue conversation? You know? <laughs> so, so it's very important you do that for your clients, your customers, your potential customers. Remember, all of you are business builders. I don't care if you are 16 years old. I do not care if you are 16 freaking years old. And I don't care if you are 70 years old. You are all business builder. Let that mind be in you. You got to think big. You can't walk around us here and think small. Some of you should think small. And one of these days, I'm going to do an entire one week attacking your mindset. Attacking your mind. I'll probably even start doing that series very soon. I'm even angry now. I'll probably start doing it from tomorrow. I want to attack your mindset. I did that on 30 Days Income Challenge. The first video, before you click on take course, the more you click on 30 Days Challenge, the first video you see before you expand the course, watch that video where I give you assignment to go and do something you've never done before. The mind. All right. It's very important how you see yourself. All right. Grow big, grow big, grow big. All of you have watched Lion King. You saw what happened there. All right. Uh, Simba, the king, was now walking around with Pumba and Timon, eating uh, cockroaches and uh, rat and chasing uh, maggot around and all of that. Whereas, because his father had died, he became the king immediately. They never knew he was living his life like a nobody until the day Nala saw him, you know, and they said, you are the king. I said, eh, really? Yeah. You, you have always been the king. All right. So please understand that about yourself. So that's number five. So I'm flipping it from back. Number four is what we can remind me number four. Act of service, act of service. There are some clients, no matter what you teach, there are some of you here like this that have done this. No matter what you teach, teach for 11 hours if you like, they will not get it until you do it for them. Today, I saw one of, when I was scrolling through my messages, I saw somebody sent a message and the person said that, uh, I want you to help me set up Instagram ad and system and everything. I don't even want to show my face. I just want to, <laughs> you know, she was practically, or he, I think it's a she, was practically saying, do it for me. And that is why most service providers, which all of us are, that makes money, all right, they make money through a done for you or a done with you service. So don't teach me how to make money online. Do a done with you or done for you. All right. In LAP, you will notice we have a mixture of done for you. That's why we did funnels for you. But to get it, you got to pay a little extra. All right. Which is no, no brainer, really. You pay a little extra. The only thing we can't do for you now is to run hard for you. <laughs> we can't run out for you yet, but it's something in the works that we're going to work on very soon. All right. So when you do something for some clients or do something with some clients, you will get their loyalty. When you don't just leave them to go and do it. Oh, I just sold you a phone, but I'm going to help you set up the phone. I'm going to help you put all the software you need and all of that. Back in the days, those of you who bought laptop earlier, all right, when you have a shop where you bought a laptop, they will install the operating system for you because back then you had to install operating system. You remember? Windows XP, uh, Windows, which other one? 2007, 2008, before 2010, now came and all of that. All right, they will install it for you and they will put software for you, Vista. Yes, Vista. I, I think I started with Vista. Uh -huh. Pentiums are the processor, the Intel Pentium, Pentium 4, Pentium 2, Pentium 5, you know. <laughs> so they will install it for you and put all the, back then they will put game and movies for us. 
So those things were not, but they are supposed to only sell computer. But they say, no, 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 we install it for you. You have to set up everything. Just as simple as that. Yeah, they type in that type in game. Thank you. They will set it up for you. And because of that, how did DSTV thrive? Buy it, we'll install it for you. Don't worry. Even if you are living on 100 story building, we'll climb your roof and put your DSTV there. Every, just pay a little for that service, but everything goes. So before you know it, because they are doing installations for people, if they had left people to be installing DSTV, nobody, they won't, number one, they won't get it right. Number two, the market will not move. So approach your customer with an option of a done with you or done for you. How? For example, you're selling LAP VIP package to somebody. You want to tell them before they get started, say, oh God, forget it. Joining this platform, I will personally ensure that I take you by the NC, you get it. Or some of you can say, don't worry, just bring the money. I will set up the, buy the funnel, set up the ad and help you be running there. You'll just be sponsoring money into the ads. That's dangerous anyway, but then that is a form of done for you. But they say, done with you. I will join you in everything. When you are learning, you have any issue, contact me. I will hold you by the end. Make sure you get it all right. Done for you or done with you, it's a major key factor when you are dealing with customers who want it done with them or for them. And trust me, more than 60% of the customers you will reach have these traits in them. To so some is primary, to some is secondary, because in love languages, we have primary love language and secondary. Some of you, while I was mentioning, they said, ah, that's me. One of our friends, ah, that's me. They must say, I love you. You know, those, those are those girls that when you're talking with on phone and you want to end the course, eh? you have not said it. You say, what have I not said? You have not said it. So, oh, 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 I love you. Hey, oh, yeah. See, now, now you are remembering. Yeah. I love you too, Sha. <laughs> Big head. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and then they call him. <laughs> Some of you are, have opened you. I've scattered your table tonight. Because that's how you are. You have not said it. Nah, nah, nah. Some of you will dress. You will start walking around. So, uh, let's see. Some people, some of you will post DP. I mean, not DP now, what they call this thing, status, and start chatting me so I will see your status and say something about it. It's his word of affirmation as disturbing you. That's what's disturbing you. How many status will I read? Okay. <laughs> Recently, one of the very amazing lady on the platform said, ah, we are fighting. I said, ah, what did I do? What did I do? I said, you are not following me. I said, to where? Where are you going? You know, you're not following. I didn't even understand what she was saying, saying immediately until I said Instagram. I said, ah, ah, my Bino, what is your Instagram? And I don't even know it. <laughs> I'm disappointed. She wanted to cry. I'm sorry, oh, I will follow you anywhere you are going. All right. <laughs> so it makes a lot of sense to them. All right. So as I was mentioning that, some of you like, ah, oh, that's me. Oh, my God. Ah, it's true. I notice if somebody did not give me something, I don't feel like they love me. Oh, they must have bring a gift. They must donate to the Lord. I mean, they must, you know, <laughs> they must give. I love that one, actually, because I, I usually used to think that people don't give me gifts. I'm the one that I give everybody. And <laughs> the person I just opened up, a secret has come to chat me privately. See, <laughs> we're officially fighting. And let's see how we can hold it off now. Continue fighting me, dear. <laughs> okay, I've forgotten the story I was telling now because, uh, all, all right. So let's continue. Number four, I just talked about uh, act of service, all right, which means creates an alternative uh, offer where you do it with them, which is a better deal or do it for them. One of the new products I'm gonna launch in the next few months is to teach people or help people discover what they can teach and others will pay for it hmm? and help them set up the course, help them set up the academy, host it for them, the website, the membership, everything, do it completely for them. And there are some 
you go and create your own course yourself and everything, but I will give you the academy where you post, which is what Eco Life Platform does. And by the by the way, we will be rebranding that very soon. Uh, let me just drop that notes here. All right. So I'm going to be offering that to them. So even if you don't know what to teach, we will find it out together. We'll put it all together. I will put everything up for you, set it all up for you, edit it for you, create it for you, have your own academy, your own LAP kind of program, everything for you, all right? But that is not going to be cheap. It's going to cost thousands of dollars. All right, let's just keep that in mind. So that is one way to reach out to some kind of customer. And then we come to the pivotal, the central one, receiving of gifts. You want to make sure you do promo over and over. And which leads me to the second announcement I wanted to give. We are kicking off a small mini promo inside promo, which is called Cameroon Invasion. Who is happy? Anybody in Cameroon? Happy Cameroon Invasion. Cameroon Invasion. Cameroon Invasion. All right. So we'll be going to Cameroon on the first weekend in May. So you can qualify for an all expense paid means we are going to cater for um, your flight. We're going to cater for your hotel. We're going to feed you with buffet. Please, so Cameroon people, is there a buffet in your country? Of course, there will be. <laughs> right. So we're going to cater for your hotel, get, get out for your, your chop, chop. The last time I carried 75 people to Ghana, all right, there was one man, I saw it in the video. In It was breakfast time. So there was boiled egg, there were all these things. And this man packed five boiled egg. That man must be a, an oracle, a god. Five boiled egg. I pity the roommate of that man. All the people that were in the same bus during their tour. Five boiled egg. How does one man consume five boiled egg? And you want your system to be ready for lessons and to hear teaching and hear wisdom that day. You are going to be firing. How can you eat five boiled egg? And in that breakfast, whatever, there are all these baked beans and bean stuff too. And I'm very sure... If I go and watch that video again, that man must also have added some beans to that thing. How can you eat beans and pack five boiled egg because of buffet? There are some of you who've never eaten buffet before. The first time they are throwing you in front of food and say, pick any meat, you was like, hey, growing up is one meal. <laughs> ah, Gopta says he eats six egg daily. Oh my God. Gopta, please don't leave India. Just stay in India, yeah? <laughs> Just stay in India. <laughs> oh my goodness. You have never, is one meat you grew up eating. And now you are saying plenty, say they give you spoon to serve yourself. Say, hey, if I hear, say, I do here. You now pack meats. You know how it was alcoholism. Oh, I do you. Hey, careful, guys. All right, so you're going to have that. And then, of course, we're going to have a bit of fun. We'll discuss with the stakeholders to know how beautiful it's going to be. But really, I want you to spend your salary break in Cameroon with me if you live in Nigeria. So what do you need to do to qualify? Number one option, you can sponsor yourself. All right, just let us know that oh, I can sponsor myself. I have this amount and all of that. We'll let you know the things we'll wait for you. We'll let you know the things you're going to be paying for in that regard. But if you want us to pay for everything for you, just make 30 sales in the month of April. 30 sales. Wait it from April 1 to April 30. 30 sales. All right. So once you can do 30 sales, everything covered for you uh, if you're in Nigeria. So uh, that is um, promo. Okay. So that's a gift. Uh, your 30 sales brings you income, but we are giving you an additional thing by making you travel. My roommate used to eat crates in three days. Ah, Govka, I give up on you. <laughs> I give up on you. Those in Cameroon, you don't need to qualify for your own country now, nah, but you're already there now. Nah. What, what are you qualifying for? <laughs> Raza too. Raza, please stay in Ghana. Don't come to Cameroon. <laughs> Cameroonian say they want promo. Well, what do we promote for you now? What, what kind of promo do we do for you now? Eh? Or you want to join us in our hotel and eat five eggs for breakfast? 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> so we are doing a weekend in Cameroon in May. All right, in May. Cameroonians, please get ready. Um, it is going to be Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So we arrive on Friday or maybe on Thursday night, most likely Thursday, uh, Thursday or Friday. I think Salah is third and fourth, which is uh, Tuesday and Wednesday. So we'll most likely arrive on Thursday or Friday, and then we'll do Friday, Saturday, Sunday. By Sunday evening, everybody gets back to their home so they can resume work on Monday. Uh, uh, Monday, the, Monday should be the night. I'm correct, the night of May, all right? So May 1, which is Sunday, is supposed to be Workers' Day, but I'm sure Nigeria, they will do that Workers' Day break on 2nd, which is Monday. So there's going to be break on Monday, I'm sure, in Nigeria. And then there's going to be break for Salah on, the, on Tuesday, break for Salah on Wednesday. So definitely nobody will go to work on Thursday or Friday. So that's why that vacation is perfect for you. So make sure you come. It's going to be beautiful. You're going to meet with me. We're going to have sessions for six hours, physical. Ask me questions, anything. I'll answer you. All those stories I have to tell halfway is the best time for you to be able to get it out for you. Mm. We're going to discuss with the stakeholders in Cameroon on which city, what have you, and all that. So just keep that in mind. We're going to discuss that. But everyone, please prepare. Throughout April, you can qualify. Uh, as a matter of fact, we are most likely going to start it from Monday. So all your sales from Monday. If you want to qualify, you have to screenshot your promotional sales. Let's see it. So we need to know the number you are currently. Excuse me. And then we'll check the number that you will be at the end of the promo so that we can arrange the trip. So the earlier you qualify, the better. And those of you who don't care about qualification, you just want to pay for it, please let us know also so that we can prepare for you as well. So let's see how many people can go. It won't be bad if we charter an entire plane. You know, it's interesting. So uh, for those who are qualified and going, I'm going to be doing some incredible things for you. So I'm going to be bringing you designer clothes from Dubai. All right, so you're going to be wearing uniform, lovely stuff from Dubai. All right, uh, customized, yeah. So I will need your measurements so that we can get that uh, ready for you as well. And, um, you know, send send forth, uh, you, you get that for the trip. Um, the, the last time I did a trip for people, we, 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 I gave them two different types, a hoodie and uh, one Ghana Kente dress. The both of them are Kente. And then I also gave them a traveling box, customized traveling box for everybody, 75 people. All of them got traveling box. All of them got a hoodie. All of them got uh, a normal shirt. Beautiful designs. You no, know, it was so cool. When my people arrived at Lagos Airport, everybody was asking them, what do you people do? My people, they start marketing. Oh, we do this, we do that, come and join us. They are they were marketing. When they enter mall in Accra, they had to send them out. <laughs> it was quite interesting. All right, so I'm not sure I'm doing traveling box this year, but t-shirt, I can, I can guarantee you t-shirt. So uh, you get t-shirt uh, in that regard. So um, don't worry, you guys will meet me in Cameroon. I will go ahead of you. Uh, you'll meet me in Cameroon. I will, I will be there to welcome all of you. And some of you have not met me before. This is the first time you're also going to be able to meet with me. You can snap photo, talk, make videos together, create all kinds of promotional stuff. And most importantly, the coaching session. That is one of the major reasons you don't want to miss this meeting. All right. The coaching session is going to be crazy. Uh, during this time, I may have one on one time with you. All right. And it's going to be free because, of course, you're in-house. I'm not going to charge you for that. But, of course, we're going to have group coaching session, very long sessions and stuff. And then we're going to have the mega event. And I'm hoping my great guys in Cameroon, we blow our mind with at least 500 to 1,000 people in that all for that day. So it's a big event we want to do. Uh, it's going to be way bigger than 40 stream conference we did. It's also going to be about 40 stream conference. But it's going to be way bigger. Uh, than that. And we start campaign for this by Monday. Today is Tuesday. Abby, today is Monday. Today is Monday. By next week, Monday, we'll start the campaign for it fully. So everyone who wants to work on the campaign team, please reach out to A0 or ADA or any of the 14 admin, all right? Reach out to them. 
and um, let's know your skill, what you want to contribute in the campaign. You want to make video, you want to do graphic design, you want to do one logistic or another, all right? So something you want to do towards that campaign, let us know. And the people in Cameroon have to put together a team to work. Please reach me after this call uh, so that we work on that. So what are we creating? Uh, gifts, we're creating physical touch as well. All right, so that people can have access. Some of you, you want to, okay, let's even take a poll. You want to go to Cameroon, raise your hand, raise the hand inside the, go to reaction, raise hand. If you're already in Cameroon, also raise hand, because of course that will be coming. Let me see. The, the spirit my minister to me to just call somebody and say, you don't bother qualifying, don't bother raising money. You are already in Cameroon. Uh, okay, my, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm joking you for that word. Uh -huh. I'm joking you. So want to come to Cameroon? Let me see you raise your hand, raise your hand, raise your hand, raise your hand. Okay, fantastic. This is not a bad number. This is not a bad number at all. This is not a bad. Some some of you don't know how to raise. You are raising your hand inside the uh, inside chats, not inside chats. Raise as a reaction. Erase it as a reaction. That's the one that counts. Hey, thank you. Now I'm saying good number. Now I'm saying good number. As a matter of fact, I want us to do more than we did for Ghana because in Ghana we did 75. So this one, let's look at 100. All right. Okay. Well, you guys don't want to. As a matter of fact, if you don't come to Cameroon, you will not come to Dubai. You will not come to Nairobi. We will not allow you. We will not carry you. <laughs> all right so please start planning you have a month a full month ahead uh if you want to take permission from work permission from husband wife parents whatever please start writing the letters now um just book thursday to sunday by sunday you'll be back in your city and then you'll be able to we'll just have a sunday morning whatever and then departure hopefully the flight is going to be afternoon flight and um uh, people can get back to your workplaces on Sunday and uh, by Monday you resume office. So most likely, excuse me, we're going to take, take, take off on Thursday and then leave on Sunday. So it's just a short, very powerful retreat that we will be having. And I don't want any of you to miss this. All right. Thank you all of you who raised hand. Please drop your beautiful hands now. Drop it, drop it, drop it. Thank you. God bless you. All right. <laughs> Somebody say with the 30 rollover to complete 100 in, hmm, yes, it will. Somebody did not understand what I mean. I say, so, okay, so if I get 30 now, are you going to subtract it from my 100 of Dubai? No, 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 we will not subtract it. We will not subtract it. So it's a sacrifice we are willing to give to you to please come, come to, come to, come to Cameroon with me. All right. <laughs> so that is number three. So number two. All right. Remember, we'll start from number five. We talked about number four. We talked about number three. Number two is quality time. Quality time. How many of you have seen a billboard of Coca-Cola? Type Coca-Cola. You have seen a billboard of Coca-Cola. Not once in ever your life. I mean, like in the last one year, you have seen a billboard of Coca-Cola. Good. How many of you who live in Nigeria, in Ghana, in South Africa, you have seen a billboard of MTN? Or you have seen their ads on TV? I want you to type MTN, especially their billboard. You have seen it in the last one year. <laughs> you have seen their billboard. Have you asked yourself, why do they still advertise? Why do they put that billboard out there? Have you asked yourself? Why do they run that ad on that TV? Why are they sponsoring that show and putting their logo there? Why, why, why? It's not attention. No. It's 
It's not attachment. It's a love language. It's called quality time. They want to keep showing up to your eyes. Everywhere you go, they want to keep appearing. They want to keep showing up. This is the best way you will understand it. How many of you were watching TV one day? And somebody you know, maybe your classmate, maybe your friend, maybe your family member, unplanned for, just appeared on TV. And you shouted, ah, that's so, so, so. I, I know him. Oh, my friend. Oh, how many of you? Has happened to you? Give me one, one, one. You were watching the TV. You were not expecting it to happen. You just saw somebody you know, a close person. Ah, no, 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 no. <laughs> I know him. I know him. You see how excited you are because somebody you already have a relationship with was presented to you again. Many of you will start to ask, is MTA even still working? Because you don't see their billboard anymore. That's the problem of many small businesses. They've made money, so they think they don't have to market. So the number two love language is you showing up over and over. You wonder why I post almost every day. Now I'm building my content, uh, whatever, uh, from April, I'm going to bombard social media, everything with all kinds of content and stuff. It's simply because I want to keep on showing up for you who are following me, for you who are going to follow me in the future. I want you all to see me. I want you all to see me. I want you all to know me. So that's that. I thought I would teach this thing in five minutes. Oh my God, I've spent over one hour teaching this. You guys know how to make me teach. Let me jump. I'm not going to break this down. Oh God, there are elements to it too, but I'm not going to mention it. So that the way you feel or the way you felt when you saw somebody you know, that exactly is the principle of these organizations putting themselves on the big board as well. So that something in your psyche, something in your subconscious is going to tell yourself, ah, that's the brand. Oh, that's the brand. Oh, that's my brand. Oh, I use MTN. Oh, I drink Coca-Cola. Oh, this, oh, that. And they keep prepping you, even if you have not taken that Coke or Coca-Cola or Fanta or something, that day, because you saw the billboard, you are most likely going to take a Coke in the next seven days, if you check it very well. Every time you stay at a Coca-Cola billboard, you are most likely going to take a Coke within a week of seeing that billboard. Check it. You are most likely going to take a Coke. All right. Why? Because of the love language. And then number one, words of affirmation. I simply tie this into a code called the code of honor. Make your customer feel important by telling them they are important. Make them feel honored by actually honoring them. Okay? They feel very important. Speak to them like VIPs. Give them special treatments. How many of you remember Intercontinental Bank? You know, they invented putting sweets on top of the, this thing is part of gifts, yeah? <laughs> All right. How many of you remember the first time, okay, the first time you got an email and the email contained your name, you felt special. The first time a friend opened an email for me, email, his email address or email accounts for me. I can't remember what year it was, but internet was new in my city. And he told me about this thing called internet, that through the computer, we can see the white people and the white people can see us and then we can communicate with them. Ah, I said, that's good though. Because where I grew up, when you relocate abroad, you have succeeded. Even if you're watching toilets there, it doesn't matter, we don't know. All we know is if a member of your family mistakenly goes to the US, especially America or London, those are the two abroad that exist anyway. Any other places, no. Later, we knew about a place called Canada. 
So oh, can the name sounds nice. They, they, they even have the, the most beautiful city in the world back then was Toronto, Canada. Toronto, Toronto sounds like Tolu Tolu, you know, kind of a local name kind of thing. So, so if you are in the US or in the UK, you have succeeded. Your entire family is blessed. Even if they are still suffering, we believe their sufferness is a package suffer. They are just these guys saying, you know, <laughs> they, they have made it in life. So this guy told me that. Through the internet, we can talk to Ibu. And if they like us, one day they will ask us to go. Ah, he said he just opened an email for me. I said, hey, what is that? He said email. He said email is something that they will use to be talking to me. That I can use to talk to them. They can use to talk to me. I said, hey, tell me more. Sir. I should follow him to a cyber cafe. The only one we had in the entire city. So... It's a side back cafe. It didn't sound like a coffee. So I thought maybe it's a coffee, <laughs> coffee lounge. So we got there and then he typed, you know, this very big computer monitor and then this very hard keyboard. So I remember when that got that guy drums, he does all this drum stuff. So when he type, pa, 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 and he want to add, click enter, we do like this. Pa! I said, correct. So if you don't hit it like that, they won't know. So the way he eats it is, and then he eats the thing now, start loading, you know? It was loaded, it says it's loading. Okay, so let's quickly have it, this was loading. So eventually now loaded, and then the thing just mentioned my name, welcome, KUs. I say, hey, my name is there. I say, yes, now. He knows that you are here, that's why he's mentioning your name. I said, oh my God, these white people are too clever. I said, hey, you know, stop it, stop it. So say, Evil knows my name. Is he calling me Can you Say yes. He saw you. He see you. And they have told us that there's something called satellites. You know, in the night, we look like a very bright star. We say that satellite. That's what the American people are using to record all of us. The American people are actually seeing what we are doing right now. There is nothing we are doing in this uh, Nigeria. The American people are not seeing us. So that satellite, eh, they used to see that was the fabu they gave me. And we believed it. Oh, God, oh, my God. Uh, so if you don't know me, don't judge me. That's my kind of background. Some of you, we share similar background. You know where we used to come from, you know? You know, yeah. So, <laughs> so that was my first email. It was a Yahoo mail. Oh, my God. So he knows my name. Chai, please don't let this thing go out. Too. This thing I just said, do not spoil my packaging. So somebody will know that. <laughs> I remember back then I used to tell my mom that she should give me money for overnight browsing because I'm discussing with white people and I'm going to go and do my university education uh, abroad. And um, we, are, we are doing uh, application, we get scholarship. Scholarship is another name that also another word that means you have made it in life. I don't know if you, some of you share the same background. Scholarship means you have made it in life. So we don't know the meaning of it, but to say ego scholarship means their family cannot be poor again, all of them. So when the now said on this uh, Yahoo, Yahoo, before it became Yahoo, Yahoo, Yahoo mail, that can get scholarship. I say, what did you call it? It says, call this scholarship thing, Abby. Ah, I want to, you know. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's a story for another day. <laughs> but, but there's a way you honor people. To me, one of the best moments of my life was the day that guy hit that enter button and my Yahoo mail opened and he put welcome KUs. KUs was my nickname then. All right. <laughs> when he, okay, it was one of my best days on heart. I felt like a king that day. And Coach Gifts. I was like, it's maybe this. Oh my God. He knows my name. I mean, I was shouting. I said, keep quiet now. He knows. They know that you are here. Ah, it is my name, man. Ah. It was later I knew that was when the idiot boy was registering. That was why he typed my name there. And it was, and that was what the name was. I now thought it was some special something. Oh God. So, anyone really, most people, not anyone, because that could be some people's love language. A lot of people respond to that 
I've told you the story of uh, an inspector that wanted to punish all the teachers in the school I used to teach. And when I started to talk, I didn't try to make excuses. I spent like the first three minutes of my speech praising the guy, talking about his tie, how his color combination, was, even though the color was color iron, that man was wearing very dull color and all of that. His tie looked like a farmer's tie. But then I was still packaging him and all of that, like, ah, come on, sir, come on, sir. You are the best. And, <laughs> and by the time I was done, the man said, if I don't pardon you people for any reason, for vocals, but this guy is a very wise man. Yeah, he's a very wise man. He has done well. So he pardoned everybody. So there is a way you do you do that, <laughs> that stuff for your customers. All right. There's a way you address them, the way you show them honor, there's a way you carry them. And it makes them feel very important. They're willing to do businesses with you. So find out, you know, in business, you don't need to find out which one. You have to restructure your business communication. Remember, it's about language to exhibit each of these five love languages. All right. If they told me I'll be able to teach tonight, I'll say it's a lie. I was tired of come. Look at me teaching. All right, have you gained something from this class? <laughs> you know what's happening here? You people doing choir practice. Why are you talking about that saying to suck? <laughs> oh my goodness, this is amazing. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, that is the five customer love languages in a glance. All right, there's a complete framework to each of them. There's a dimension to each of them. And there's a formula to each of them. There's a graph and chart to each of them. And how you can also customize each of them for your own business and be able to beat competition hands down because you have customer loyalty. Remember, to win competition, focus on your customers. Don't focus on your competition. Doesn't mean don't put them into cognizance. Doesn't mean don't learn from them. Don't improve on what they are doing well and don't avoid what they are doing wrong. You should do that. But when we talk about focus, it means bulk of your energy should be on your own customers, not on the people that are competing for the same dollar with you. All right. So it's very important that you pay attention to that. All right. Uh, today, we are supposed to start um youtube ads and um somehow i decided to go into this talk we'll still see what we can do about it all right 